Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we will learn about demultiplexer. So basically, it performs operation opposite to the multiplexer. Uh, we can see this by its name, demultiplexer. So if you have not seen the video of multiplexer, I will add the link of the multiplexer in the description box. Please do check that. So basically in multiplexer, what happens is one output is selected from several input by the help of the selection line. So what is multiplexer is n is to one. So n is the number of the input and one is the number of the output. So in D max, in D max will be one is to n. Means n will be the input and n will be the number of the output line. So this input will be transferred to any of these n output lines, any of them. It will not go to all of them at a time. It will go to the single output line by the help of the selection line. So how to find the number of the selection line? So let's say we have 1 is to 4 mux. We can write it as 1 is to 2 to the power 2. So here 2 will be the number of selection line. Similarly, for 1 is to 8 D max, 1 to the 1 is to 2 to the power 3. So 3 will be the number of selection line. Let's start with the 1 is to 4 D max. So block diagram will be like this. 1 is to 4. So 1 is the input, 4 will be the output lines, and 4 output lines will be D0, D1, D2, D3. So 1 is to 4, 1 is to 4 equal to 1 is to 2 to the power 2. So 2 will be the number of selection line. So here 2 will be the number of selection lines. S1 and S0. Now we will check the function table. So here we have two number of selection line that is the S1 and S0 and 4 output line. Okay. So let's make the table so when the value of s1 and s0 is 0 0 so input our input will be transmitted through d0 rest will be off so when the value of s1 and s0 will give 1 so d1 will be selected and our input will transmit through the d1 line okay rest will be 0 Similarly, S1 and S0 is 1, 0, then 2, D2 will be selected, rest will be 0. And when both are 1 and 1, so D3 will be selected and rest will be 0. And this is selected means input will be transmitted through D3 lines. So now we will find the mean term for D0, D1, D2 and D3. So in the SOP form, in the SOP form, 0 is considered as negation, negation term and 1 is the original term. So, for the D0, I is the input and S1 and S0 are 0. So, S1 and S0 will be negation. For D1, I is input and S1 is 0. So, S1 bar s0 is 1 so s0 for d2 i will be input s1 and s0 bar for d3 i is the input and both as it is so we have derived the mean terms for d0 d1 d2 d3 now let's check out their circuit diagram now here we will make the circuit diagram so we have three terms I is the input, S1 and S0 are selection line. So we will draw three lines, I and let's say it is S1 and we have negation of S1 also and other is let's say S0 and this will be negation of S0. Okay, now for the first term that is the D0, we have I. So we have I, we will take I and S1 bar. We will take S1 bar and S0 bar. S0 bar. Okay. So, here we will get D0. Now, for the D1, we have I, S1 bar. 
एस वन बार एंड देन एस ज़ीरो एस ज़ीरो या वी विल गेट डी वन फॉर डी टू वी हैव आई एस वन एस वन एंड एस ज़ीरो बार एस ज़ीरो बार दिस इज डी टू एंड फॉर डी थ्री आई एस वन एंड एस ज़ीरो so this is d3 if the video was helpful to you please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching